Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the Ultimate Tractor Supply Survival Kit. So the premise of this video is something goes down, you don't have all that much gear with you, but you see a tractor supply down the road, so you run in and try to get as many useful survival related items as you can, trying to cover as many of the 10 C's as possible. And of course, the 10 C's are 10 categories of survival items that you want to have because if you're in a situation where you have very limited resources and you're out, say, in the wilderness, these are going to be items that are going to be extremely difficult to reproduce. The first of the 10 C's is a good cutting tool. And this is the Fiskars X7. It's just a good example of a good quality, inexpensive hatchet. You've probably seen different reviews of them online. It's nothing fancy. It's not pretty like other kinds of axes but from everything I've heard about them, they hold up well and they chop fairly decently. The next cutting tool that I was able to find was a folding saw, and this particular one is made by a company called Corona. I like having a folding saw with me. I think for a lot of people, it's gonna be a little bit safer than using an ax or a hatchet, especially if you don't have that much experience with one. And using a saw, if you do it carefully and you're precise, you can also make notches in wood to make different structures like tables and other things like that. Hopefully you're not gonna be using this kit long enough to have to make a table out in the woods, but you can do a lot of different things with a saw. They also have a small selection of decent quality knives like this one right here is the Kershaw Cryo. And just for the sake of full disclosure, I did not actually buy this knife at Tractor Supply. It's one that I already had that they actually sell there. So I saved myself a little bit of money because even though you can never have too many, I honestly probably have enough folding knives at this time. The only thing that's different about mine versus the one that they sell is mine has the G10 handles. There's our smooth handle varieties. This one, they're selling it for 50 there i think at tractor supply but you could probably find it other places for probably closer to the 40 dollar mark the next of the 10 c's i was able to find at tractor supply was a combustion device and in this case it was just a long grill style lighter and given this is not the best kind of lighter for a kit like this ideally you would want something like a big lighter and then a ferro rod as a backup but I wasn't able to find small Bic lighters. They didn't have ferro rods. This was really the only thing that they had. But if you're in a situation where you're desperate and you don't have anything else and you're careful with how you pack this, then you could probably make it work. The next of the 10 C's that I was able to find was cover. And in this case, it is a tarp. Tractor Supply has a lot of different tarps. Some are smaller like this eight by 10 foot one. And they also have larger ones that if it's not for an individual survival kit and you need something to cover a big hole in your roof, they have stuff that can help you out with that also. But I actually bought two tarps. I bought this one and then one that's just a little bit smaller and I'll explain why I have that smaller one later in the video. But of course, tarps, they're gonna be good for building things like emergency shelters. And while you're using it as an emergency shelter, if there's a rainstorm going on, you can set it up so that it is covering you and also channeling water into some sort of container that you can drink later on. The next sea of survival that I was able to find at Tractor Supply was a container. And before you click off the video, I understand this is not a normal, traditional, correct container that you would normally boil water in. That, of course, would be a single wall stainless steel water bottle. I know that and I have that, but my Tractor Supply did not have anything like that. But they did have a stainless steel dog bowl. And stainless steel, of course, is safe to cook in. So the only thing I wish I had done differently was gotten one that maybe was a little bit thicker and a little bit smaller. They also had some water bottles, which if you're in an emergency situation, any little bit of water that you can get to give you a head start is gonna be a good thing. And of course you can reuse the water bottles to hold water that you have cleaned after that. And the good thing about the bowl being so big is you can use it as an additional container to organize stuff in your pack while you're moving. The next sea of survival I was able to find at Tractor Supply was cordage, and they had a few different kinds. First of all, they had zip ties. I just did a video over that last week. If you didn't see it, I'll put a link in the description below. 
And they also had paracord, but the paracord they had was pretty expensive. I think this was around $15 for 100 feet. I've seen it for $10 locally for 100 feet elsewhere, and it might even be cheaper online. But also found a 3 8 inch polypropylene rope. I think this was around $23 or $25. But if you're needing to pull things by hand, then a thicker rope is going to be a lot more comfortable to deal with than something like paracord would be. The next thing I was able to find at Tractor Supply was a cotton bandana. And ideally you would want something a little bit bigger than this. It's only 27 inches and you would want something brightly colored so you could use it as a signal. But this is still going to be useful for some things like you're going to be able to wrap it around your hand if you don't have anything else that you can use to protect it with. You're going to be able to use it to do things like gather berries, use it as a bandage, and just other things that you would want a bandana for. Another one of the tendencies that Tractor Supply had was cargo tape. And in this case, I just got extreme weather duct tape. They had some other brands of variety also but duct tape is going to be good for doing things like repairing gear or if you need to make certain bandages like you can make butterfly bandages out of it you can also use it to help you secure other bandages in place like if you used a bandana to make one and then also it is flammable so if you don't have anything else to help you start a fire and conditions are getting a little bit rough you can use some duct tape to help you get that fire started. And another one of the 10 C's I was able to find for this survival kit was a candling device. And in this case, it was a headlamp. They have some other flashlights as well, but with a headlamp, you're gonna be able to use it for pretty much everything that you could use a flashlight for. And it gives you the added benefit of being able to use it hands-free. This isn't the brightest flashlight in the world, or sorry, headlamp in the world. And it doesn't throw a beam further than a lot of lights do but it's going to be very good at flooding areas especially close to you with a decent amount of light that you can use to work with without blinding you i know a lot of lights out there they might have a good throw they might generate a lot of light but if they're not adjustable and you're needing to do things up close they're not going to really help you out all that much then there were two of the 10 C's that I was not able to find at my local tractor supply, and those were a compass and a canvas sailing needle. They show that they sell them online, but my particular store did not have those. I suppose I might have been able to pick up some hypodermic needles and maybe use those for sewing. I've never tried that, so I don't know how well it will work, if it even would. But if you have something like a multi-tool, which they also sell, a lot of those have awls on them. But I was able to find some other gear to help supplement my kit that aren't necessarily part of the 10 C's. And the first thing that I was able to find, and I actually wasn't expecting this, were Life Straw water filters. And if you don't know what a Life Straw is, it's just a cheap but pretty effective water filter. It can remove things like bacteria and sediment from your water. It won't remove things like viruses and chemicals, but basically you just find a water source, open both ends, dip it down in there and then drink it. It'll remove a lot of bad stuff from the water for you. And I was also able to find some tools that could be useful in a personal survival kit. Things like this pry bar. Of course, pry bars have a lot of different uses. You never know when you're going to need a little bit more leverage. And I mentioned that Tractor Supply sells multi-tools, which they do. But in my area, uh, I might be in a situation where I have to cut through maybe some barbed wire or something. Now, I don't want to, and they would be a last resort, but cutting through barbed wire with a small multi-tool can be a big challenge and it's not all that good for the tool itself. So I picked up some fencing pliers, which has these notches in here that you can use to cut wires, has grabbers on the end, and then also has the added benefit of being able to be used as a hammer. So if you need something to knock some tent stakes into place, I guess it works a little bit better than a rock. I was also able to find some personal protective gear and the two things that I picked up were face masks and gloves. And of course, gloves, they're going to be essential. Anytime that you're using anything like an axe or processing wood down for a fire to make a shelter, it's a good idea to have gloves. And these N95 masks, if you're in a situation where there's a lot of smoke or dust or something like that in the air, these will go a long way towards protecting you. And it's a good idea to keep these in their package so that they don't get crushed. And then my tractor supply also had some things that could help you not starve to death. Like they had tons of different kinds of beef jerky. I was able to pick up these beef sticks. I think this was $10 for the bag. They also had this thin metal wire, which you could use 
to help make things like snares for small animals. You could use this to help you construct larger traps for maybe some bigger animals. And then also it could be a trip wire to uh, rig up to help you know if somebody's rolling up in your camp. And then one thing that my tractor supply didn't have that was a little bit disappointing was a bag to keep all of this stuff in. They had some tool bags, but those were a little bit expensive and I didn't even know if they'd be big enough to keep all of this stuff in. So that is why I got that second tarp. Using that second tarp and some of the rope that I got, I was able to make a Yukon pack like this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos which are related to survival kits or items you can find at Tractor Supply, y'all can click on these cards. Y'all have a good one. Thanks again.